Hello everyone, this is Acularius playing the 15th episode of the Assyrian Mongoose Campaign. This is a Civilization 4 Beyond the Sword game using the Caveman to Cosmos mod. If you are also interested in said mod, go to the forum, the link is in the doobly doo. Let's get going. <laughs> Get me some uh, afternoon coffee. Ah, this is this is good. Let's start that timer. You have competition every day, because you set such high standards for yourself, that you have to go out every day and live up to that. Mm. Start. Good job. Standardization fired. Can't remember exactly what that entailed. Apparently I was not privy to such information. Hey. So, so far, we have kept England hemmed in, which is great. But I really hope they don't have much room to expand. I hope that's a peninsula. I really do hope, and it's not like a huge, contain another huge bit of landmass, and that's just like... Not what I'm looking for. Oh, standardization. Here we go. Yep, nope, we're not gonna get that. That's useful. Market scales. What do we need for that? Ah! Yeah, that's not happening. We have neither metals. See something that we can kill? No? Back to sentry. Um. Still loading up. We still want to do animals. Continue your hunting. Hunting this. Uh, bells hunt. Oh, yes, we have roads now, but yeah, that. Not too key just yet. Okay. Mm hmm. Not sure what I just made him do. That's a shame. Oh well. It definitely said we were going to have a good chance of failure. That being said, we need to get those roads up. Uh. On the plus side, that ambusher got some free combat bonuses. Uh, we should be able to get more birds in the future.
<sighs> yeah, so our cities are starting to grow. Darius and Uterai are above size 6, and that's pretty damn good. Good, good, good. Alright, someone discovered Mesopotamianism, uh, because this is actually a favorite religion of uh, the Assyrian culture, it automatically spreads to one our cities, like we get it in our capital just to set off. And Mesopotamianism is actually a really strong uh, beginning culture, so I'm actually in favor of uh, adopting it. It is a powerful culture. It's got a lot of upgrades and bonuses that we don't know of yet. Here we go. We want this. This jeweler will give us more wealth. Um, so we got the hammers here, yeah. Uh, it's a long way to that, so yeah, let's get that. Cue that up. We are planning on getting horse here to get more of that. We don't have fish, so let's focus on food. You, uh, get rid of disease, that's always a plus. Might as well. Oh, we don't have fine leather. Ooh. That would make our people happier. We don't need that, but it'd be a good thing to get. It takes one turn. Oh, you kind of favor up here, do you? Um, it's really close to a lot of other things. But that'll give us the horse still. A bunch of other nice things. I don't see why not. It's a nice defensible position. And, you know, if we can get another city on this fairly wealthy peninsula. Oh. So she found a Mesopotamianism. That's just more of a reason for me to want to invade her. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I probably have a civic that does not allow me to convert. path here yet, so we want these. Let's sit here. Okay. We want that to go to the capital so we can settle the horse. Let's name it after some modders. Oh, come on now. Now we have a lot of work on the AI. 
And believe me, when I mean a lot of the work, a lot of work, it's, it's a lot better now than it's ever been before. And we hook up you, this, this, and that, you, and the wall will be a good one. Okay. Yeah, so that's good. We've now got a nice continuous border to our further cities in the west here. Believe me, that's a good thing. I want this border to expand. Now we can't build the second level of that menagerie uh, until we get bricks, which is why we're getting masonry. And since we have cities above level, you know, population six, we can actually build brick makers ASAP because that's another thing that requires fairly large cities. Same with forges, actually. So a lot of ancient era buildings that are quite important, like bricks. Or, uh, ignots uh, and uh, wares, like metal wares of any variety, copper, bronze, iron, they all require at least level 6. Same with uh, shipbuilding. Like actual ships, like galleys and eventually triremes and uh, decoremes. So this is along the way to get the jewelry store. I believe we need uh, some sort of smelted metal, um, such as copper, before we can get that. Oh, I can't recall. Are we getting that? So the downside of uh, beelining for copper working, no, we should definitely beeline for copper working, because that gives us more production, and we have the uh, the ore. We should get that hooked up as soon as possible. It is from their foes, not their friends, that cities learn the lesson of building high walls. Okay, the pulley is still important. We want that because that improves uh, buildings, like building construction speed. Gives us a bonus on how many hammers we generate a turn or production. A turn. Hmm. But I also want to get the priest tech so we can actually start like really taking advantage of that. Yeah, so where we were gonna be line priesthood, so let's keep with police. Um let's get metal casting. Uh priesthood divination. Sculptures, so we can get pyramids. We're looking remarkably like... Kind of like an Egypt. Oh, I know what the next tech we should get into this line. Should uh, beeline Siri culture. Get uh, silk hooked up. Take advantage of that. Again, more wealth. Gives you a lot more leeway in what you can do. So let's beeline that, and then after we beeline Siri culture, we should head straight for writing. Uh, they've moved the tech tree around uh, recently, so I'm not entirely used to where writing is anymore. Ah, here we go. 
So running is about 23 techs away, which is fine. It's going to be a while, but we should definitely beeline that because it uh, unlocks a lot of things that are tech related. We need to start pushing ahead. So we got a road out to this way now. So let's get a road out here. Good, we've actually locked in Elizabeth's uh, hunter into this peninsula. Okay, so we're gonna set a horse in our capital. So now we can actually build horse units, uh, cavalry units. Oh, well, this is important. Yeah. Oh, well, let's get the growth uh, stuff, like uh, the sailor and this. And then we want the jeweler, and then we want everything that also fights crime. So we want to get these up and going. And by that point, yeah, let's get the pirates also up. And the horse. Yeah, okay. That's good enough for now. Um. We're going to start building city guards on some heavier crime spots. Actually, I think we should start doing that in our capital as soon as we can. <clears throat> I think it still has crime. These are what I was referring to earlier. These guys will fight crime. Mm -hmm. Personally, I would have liked to wait to like military tradition or like uh, uh, the ability to get. Um, oh, the word's not coming to me. Uh, so crime's actually growing here. So, we can actually upgrade our tribal guy to a time watchman, but he's not as good, so... Um, so yeah, let's actually build some defense here, so... Get three archers and two guardsmen should be enough for now in the capital. Coupled with the two new buildings that we're getting. Uh, and I'll delete the tribal guardian. We're gonna get the town watchman next turn. Uh, let's see if we can get that snake. Nope. Oh, good, we got a snake through here. Personally, I'm gonna wait until we get to see where some iron is before I decide where to build like an actual dedicated military Ooh, kangaroo. But then the capital, because a uh, like a lot of domesticated animal uh, buildings, um, give extra production, and right now a lot of weight is placed upon our capital. So, if we improve its ability to produce, we improve the ability of our empire as a whole. Eventually though, the I'm going to spread the weight of building units across the empire. But for now it's got, it's pretty military specialized. Okay, we're getting close to the end of this session, so we'll go to turn 435, and we will call it quits for this episode. Okay. Do do do, are you guys growing really fast? 
typically allow the city to automate most of the time it does what I needed to do um, how's crime here crime's rising can we fight that yeah there are a bunch of new buildings um we can actually start taking advantage of that now so we'll build these new walls okay, so that'll be quick um, get some more healthiness here. We have money to spare, so life's actually you know splurge in some graveyards. And more food. Uh, eventually more food options will unlock. Uh, particularly once we start going through the farm chain of things. Oh good, this, yeah, this place has a granary so we can actually build that cellar, so uh, it will grow, it will store more after growth, so it will be quicker to the next uh, population growth. Okay, so we've got our two city town watchmen here, so I want them to have that. And I'm going to save their upgrade for later when we get the next tier of crime fighting. So that should be sufficient and keep the crime down ah, good we're gonna get the lava rock quarry um, which will give us obsidian um, better in the capital yeah we can set down some myths here We need to. Oh, sh shies. We need to get the bricks as soon as possible. All those are good. Let's focus. Not those sides. Uh, we'll save those for other cities. And then we'll focus on the growth. Um, we'll work on crime next. It's also defensive as well. Yep, improve the river tiles. This one actually has a bit more. And let's toss in a bridge. Get more food. There's no more food, so let's get more gold. When in doubt, money. Money, I typically uh, wait the last, unless I specifically need it, because there are a bunch of other things that you should prioritize before you focus on, you know, money. That being said, how are we doing? This will give us a rough idea. So we're actually first place in GMP and manufactured goods. Uh, not that far ahead. Uh, we're actually pretty close here. But that's largely due to the fact, I think, because we have nine cities. How are my cities doing? Can we afford a tenth? Okay. We cannot afford a tenth. Our city, Zinth, here is uh, too close. Also, not connected to the trade network. Which is odd, because we should be able to trade along this. Oh well, maybe we should get it hooked up to a road. That's probably why it's pretty close to being very unhappy. Actually, we'll uh, end at 4.30. Fishmonger. 
right, let's get the food stuff. Hammers. Yep, that's always a good solid investment and never really gets obsoleted. And it just gets replaced by better things over time. Crime. How are we doing with crime here? That's on the down. So let's build that. And pottery. Actually, since it's near the front line, let's build the defensive fight crime fighting structures. We won't bother with the execution or hut. Um, we'll get the trails for the trade route and the slow. Start. Mm. I'll get that. I'll wait for now. Uh, when I come back, I want to. Oh, I just saw it actually. I want to build this cellar. Much for the same reason I want to build. Uh, the granary, which is, you, you want to get growth. And then we'll build all the food structures then, actually. I try, I, I, I've never liked fl flammable structures until I can really start fighting back on flat fire. Uh, the reason being is, I, it's, I've never felt it was worth it to randomly lose a structure, definitely in the early game. Because it, I find it's always much easier for it to trigger, uh, because it's not competing with as many things. Okay, that's healed up. So we got this all path up actually now, so let's uh, build a mine here. We got another snake. This is actually built up. All of its uh, archers. Good. So our capital is actually properly defended now. Build up. And since it builds units pretty quickly, I doubt our capital is going to fall very quick. We should probably get a unit to sit on that copper ore. It's actually rather valuable. So I would rather it not be risked. Start hooking up resources through here. That hunter should kill that. Hopefully we can catch that Ibex. <sighs> yeah, let's get a unit on there. Um, yeah, see, this is the Obsidian X-Men I was talking about. So, let's upgrade our military. Um, see, these macemen, uh, we originally wanted them to use swords. So they are now more specialized in city taking. Uh, our spearmen, we wanted specifically to be a spearman. And that should be all the upgrades here. That covers most of the things. I don't think we need to replace this. So, let's just upgrade though to archers like right now.
Excellent. So now that we got bricks, we've unlocked a few different buildings. Um, so that enable that growth and such. Good. Growth. Growth. Food. Let's get the crime fight. Eat. Crime's growing here, so that might be able to take care of it. But we should be a little bit more proactive. Build up. Oh, actually, I don't care about... Border troops, but he's good there. Actually, this is going to be a lot of fortifying, so I'm just going to end the episode here. Like, favorite, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>